Om Bhava Vasuva Tatsavitu Vare Nim Bhago Devasya Dimahi Deo Yona Prajotayate Oh, there's the 93 of Saturn, which equals 93 in Gematria on that license plate. 393. 9, 3, and 9 reduces to 12. 1 and 2 reduces to 3. What are words for? You hear what's playing on the stereo? This media saturated circus society. Ignoramuses, assholes everywhere. Bury their heads in the sand and don't deal with reality. They don't realize that they're being geoengineered into oblivion. Unnatural Franken weather, unnatural Franken food, unnatural Franken people. Chemical cool downs there at the ground level in the northeast to control mind control the population to confuse and divide them about the severity of the climate collapse. What is this? Look at this. Look at these. I think this is natural. This is not snow. Franken Times, live from Franken Times on Paradise Road. Oh yeah, there's good people. I'm not meaning to overgeneralize and say that everyone in the society is an asshole. That would be extreme. But the general theme we're dealing with here is oblivion in 2018 on December. <clears throat> the 18th, 2018, which is 1218, 2 1 and 2 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 8 is 12, 1 and 2 is 3, plus 11 is 14, 1 and 4 is 5. Today is the 5 day, 5 of Eve, and it's Tuesday, the day of Mars. <clears throat> Final days of 2018. And after today, I only have two more pre-Christmas shifts at the labor camp. Thank God. The auditory assault. Just all Christmas or holiday, holiday music non-stop. People who say they can tune out the music on the stereo system, you're wrong because your your ears are uh, holy. It gets in, and you wake up with the frickin' shit in your head. You wake up in the morning the next day with uh, jingle bells. You th there you were thinking you were tuning it out. The holy days of commercial exploitation. Today is the second day of Saturnalia, the 18th. J letter 10. J of Jupiter Zeus, Jesus, Joshua, jo Joseph, Josette, Jacob, Jack, the traveling fool of nature who is the April fool. Green man in April in the springtime. When he's raw born after dying here, where he's going to be dead on the Southern Cross of Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn, in the sign of Capricorn, at the Tropic of Capricorn, in his ecliptic path on the 21st, the winter solstice coming right up, and then reborn on the 25th, Christmas, God's son's rebirth day. The Son of God, S O N, is the S U N of God. He's an anthropomorphic image, a, a man. God in the form of a f God in the form of a man image for the purpose of storytelling or Taurus telling from the throat of Taurus in your anatomy. Taurus is your in your throat and in your cerebellum, the bell or the bull in the back, the bull linked up to the front. 
the parables of the cere cerebram of Aries and the cerebellum of Taurus. This is why all of your language is bull-based. Language in which you're languishing, the English, Anglish, Angelish language. We live in an occultocracy, a democracy, in which these founding documents have been totally shat upon, and you have a mind controlled population that doesn't give a shit. Seriously. Except for a very few who would stop to talk to you about it, who actually care. We didn't finish yesterday's cash, the cash register synchronicities I did yesterday in the video. We're just the beginning. I just have to finish the 16th, and then I have more from the 17th to share. And we're going to read Man and His, for Man and His Symbols. What are words for when no one listens anymore? Unless you've worked with the public in America in a retail environment for any significant period of time, which I have, in my current position I've had for 14 years, I had many before that, starting with my newspaper route as a child from the age of 10 to 16. Unless you've had any major experience with that, you really don't have much of a clue about the general uh, psychic, psychological ill health <coughs> of the population. And many who have done these kinds of jobs still don't have any clue because they're, they've been so, you know, dimmed down themselves. And they've become so compliant with the society that they should never comply with. As Krishnamurti said, and this is probably my 83rd time saying it, it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick, sick, sick society. A sick society. A conformist society of people who have been conditioned to see themselves as part of a pack called a social animal. A social, they think human beings are social animals. They've been conditioned to think of humanity in term in a in a false way, and they've conditioned they've learned all of humanity's subjects in a false way, especially mathematics, the big one. People are not taught the sacredness of number, and hence we have the term sacred geometry now because people think that geometry there's a, there's a geometry that's not sacred. It's all sacred. Geometry. Geo is from Gaia. In Greek, Mother Earth, the personified as the mother of the titans, the mother of the gods, the goddess. Gaia, the feminine principle of the sacred feminine, of the lunar, of the crescent of Christ, and Mary, or Horus and Isis. We're getting close to the solstice of Isis here, where the sun will be standing still, and the moon is, a, is waxing. The waning crescent is where the letter C comes from. A, B, C. Today is the 18th, second day of Saturnalia, of unrestrained merrymaking. This is what this is. This is what the lead up to the this Christmas is all about. This solstice ritualism and the orgies of Saturnalia are now consumer spending orgies. And it's been this way for a long time. And we're on an imploding biosphere where we probably have five years to go and people are still just going through this, the motions of buying and selling as if nothing's happening when the, every day we're seeing the geoengineering assault above the power structures response to the imploding biosphere their desperate re response amping it up yesterday a lady came through like this I, it was like it was, I was like bombarded yesterday at the beginning of the shift lady had her phone like this right she find one thing of flowers no one else around so I have no one to witness this. <laughs> and she's got this awful look on her face. And she's I scan the flowers and say, would you like a flower sleeve? Those people who are like that, you, you realize, people who, if you go through a check stand at a commercial establishment on your phone, I don't care if it's like this or if you're like this, you realize, you realize, have any idea what you look like? How much of an asshole you look like? You, you have no respect for yourself or for the person you're interacting with because you're, she, this lady wasn't even saying anything on the phone. And she was barely, she barely had a greeting for me. No, she didn't show, show any signs of respect or courtesy or decency, right? And she keeps giving me this weird look. And she's paying with cash, so I take the cash. I give her her flower sleeve. I say, would you like a sleeve? She says, I think she goes like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and she keeps on freaking glaring at me, looking up, looking down into purse, glaring at me, and I take her cash and I, and I give her her change. I say, that's your change. Thank you, miss. Have a good day. And then she goes, is there a problem? Is there a problem? Your, en your energy's harsh. Oh, I, mean, I hadn't said anything to this woman. I was just standing there, taking care of the business, getting her out of my freaking face with her fucking doing this, re read this routine with the phone on the ear while she, and not even saying anything, which was weird. Like, what is she doing? Which is she like permanently? Is she, is she like a, you know, this is like a, uh, some kind of syndrome now, like, you know, cell phone attachment syndrome. So she, t she has the gall to say that my energy is hard. It's the holidays. You shouldn't be like that. And I'm thinking, where is my mirror? And immediately I just said, would you like me to get a manager, miss? I'm going to ring the bell. <laughs> da ding, ding, ding. Get the, to get someone to witness this and, you know, help me out here. Cause I got a, obviously I got a freaking loony on my hands. This is some bulldog lady. Like, you know, I, I came face to face with Satan yesterday and she dyes her hair black and she's got a big purse. So, uh, and you know what I said to her as she's leaving? She said, uh, she said, no, I don't want the manager. Don't get a manager. I said, okay. I said, have a great day, miss. God bless you. And I didn't do the fake smile. I just, I said, God bless you. Cause maybe there's a chance later in the day she's going to realize what a fucking asshole she was to me. And she's probably like that with people generally and no one around her, none of her close, you know, her family or friends, none of the people close to her have ever had the fucking nerve to tell her that she's an asshole. So she's going around, walking around thinking she's got the fucking high ground. And then, and the thing is, when you're in the situation that I'm in there, understand that I am completely powerless. The customer's always right. They're the paying customer, the almighty customer. Have you seen Cloud Atlas? We'll see that and see an engineered uh, servant class serving customers and they have to worship the customer and the, this is a future depiction in soul, an extreme example. And uh, the line I, the line in the movie is, I'm, I will not be subject to criminal abuse from the, the uh, adventure of Timothy Cavendish part of the film, in the book. And uh, I mean, this is what I, I'm always thinking about. Like, I will not be subject to criminal abuse. You know, don't you, people go out into public in commercial establishments, and whether it's conscious or unconscious, they're they're taking this abusive tone and qual and um, uh, mindset with them and energy with them into relating to people who are serving them, the servants. You know, the 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 customer servants, and they, people take advantage of the fact that they're always the customer's always right, so they can be they and they they think, oh, I can just be a dipshit to this person, and I'm right. <laughs> Well, a customer's not always right. No one's always right. No human being. Let's continue with cash register synchronicity. 12 o'clock, this was on the 16th, two days ago, on Sunday. 12 o'clock p.m. exactly. 43, 16 total. And then the 16 items. 16, 16. Let's put each one in the bag. In the holiday bag here. Of the holy day, see all the red of Christmas, the symbolism of color, red and green, the evergreens of Eve. This is the evening time of the year, after the sun's gone below Eve or Libra, the evening, the one who lives, Eve. Adam is the rising Mars, Eve is the setting Venus of Libra. Venus, Mars, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. This is even evergreen time. And the red would be the color of Mars of the blood and the blood of the sacrificial lamb, the one who gives his life for the rest of the herd in this predator-prey relationship. The one who, the weak link, the J who gives his life so that the many can live. The predators and the creditors. This whole thing is symbolic. There's no literal historical Jesus just as there was no literal historical Osiris or Horus or Isis. These are, it's mythology, which is deep storytelling, and it's connecting storytelling, relating to man, to nature, to the wheel of the cycle of nature, of the ecliptic, of the great circle, of the dawn, sunrise, of Aries, arise, and sunset, evening, of Libra, of three and nine, Three o'clock sunrise, the ram's horns of the brain, and nine o'clock set, Horus and set. 